How to deal with speaking anxiety in online classes. What is speaking anxiety? Speaking anxiety or speech anxiety refers to the unnerving or incapacitating fear that grips some people when speaking to an audience. Simply put, it is the fear of public speaking and the signs include 1. Shaking, 2. Sweating, 3. Stuttering, 4. Butterflies in stomach, 5. Heart pounding, 6. Dry mouth. 16 Tips to Overcome Speaking Anxiety in Online Classes Online classes mean that you and your classmates are distant and have limited modes of communication. As such, your instructor will require you to speak in class to show that you are following along well and that you are learning. It is therefore important to overcome your fear, and the following tips can help you with details on how to deal with speaking anxiety in online classes. 1. Practice speaking. Practice makes perfect applies to most things, including public speaking. Doing so, especially in front of a mirror or on camera, allows you to act as if you are indeed giving a speech. Once you find a suitable topic from our other articles, such as controversial topics for teenagers, you may present your speech to your friends and family and have them provide feedback on what to change. For example, they may inform you that your voice is cracking at some points or that you are shuffling around on your feet. 2. Prepare. It is very important to stay organized and write up a draft of what to say. For example, your instructor may require you to introduce yourself to the class, so you can write a short speech sample that is appropriate for the occasion. You also need to focus on the tools you need, such as a microphone and a good internet connection. 3. Focus on a core message. Every presentation has a core message. Whether it is a speech to introduce yourself to the class or demonstrate your knowledge of a particular concept, it is important to have a core message that you can build your speech around to prevent you from stuttering and getting confused. 4. Develop a structure. Once you know how much time, on average will be allotted to you, it is important to divide your speech into parts that help you speak in a coherent manner. For example, you will need a short introductory paragraph to explain the purpose of your speech and more to explain the content e. g. a. speech on what you have learned in your chemistry class should begin with the point of the presentation and the different points you aim to cover. As such, it should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. 5. Check your pacing. A speech depends on your voice, and experts would advise you to talk at a conversational pace. This is because speaking faster may cause your listeners to miss out on certain points, while talking too slowly will lead to boredom in your listeners. 6. Use active voice at intervals. Active voice refers to a sentence where the subject performs the action on a particular target, while passive voice focuses on the target which receives the action. Using active voice at certain intervals can inspire your audience to take a particular path, while passive voice helps reduce redundancy since you won't repeat yourself. This is one of the lesser known tips for how to deal with speaking anxiety in online classes, but it is very effective for a good speech that will have your listeners focused on you. 7. Know your audience. One of the most important parts of a speech is appealing to one's audience. If your audience is a group of technical experts, it is important to be informative, but if you are preparing a speech for an event, your speech should be entertaining. As such, you should be aware of the purpose of the speech and who you can expect to show up and why. 8. Positive thinking. Everyone makes mistakes. Even better, most people are nervous about speaking in public, hence they are likely to be sympathetic to others. Most people are also not critically thinking about you, but are just listening to you talk. As such, do not overthink it since they will likely make mistakes as well. 9. Dress properly. One mistake students make with regard to online learning is poor grooming. Many even admit to not showering or changing from their pajamas. However, your appearance affects your confidence, 
so you should groom yourself. Wearing something you are comfortable in also helps you present before others with ease. 10. Take deep breaths. Your speech may contribute to your final score, so it is understandable that you would still feel nervous. If you feel your heart pounding, consider taking some deep breaths to regulate your heart rate. This is particularly useful when you are not particularly nervous, but your body responds like this and gives you a chance to help your body catch up to your mind. 11. Acknowledge your progress in every journey you undertake you will find that you will not end up at the same point you started. For example, you may find that you are no longer saying um and have more coherent speech the more you practice. This is definitely worthy of celebration since it shows that you are growing your skill set. 12. Relax. Aside from taking deep breaths, there are many techniques you could use to enhance your confidence. These include relaxing your muscles or meditation, and can help you improve your speaking abilities. 13. Exercise. Exercising your body can help you release pent-up stress and reduce your anxiety in general. 14. Use anti-anxiety medication. There exists medication to help you calm down in case breathing exercises and relaxation do not work. These can be sourced from a pharmacist and tend to have very mild effects that will help you breeze through your presentation. 15. Focus on friendly people in the crowd. It is impossible not to look up when speaking publicly, as it will make you look rather nervous. As such, you will find yourself glancing at the audience. Let's say your instructor requires you to make a presentation on a particular topic. While some will seem disinterested, look for a friendly face in the crowd such as those who are nodding along in agreement with your point. 16. Hire a writer. In your online learning journey, you will likely give several speeches. They will often revolve around several topics, which you may not have experience dealing with. As such, you may opt to hire a writer from the various tutoring services around. These experts provide specialized essays to students, so you can get help no matter the prompt.